Real-time PCR is a growing technology with ever-expanding uses. Gene expression, transgenics, copy number variation are some examples. Are you a researcher who's been using real-time PCR and has questions? Maybe you just want to confirm that you're doing it right. Or are you a researcher who's never done real-time PCR and has questions like, what do I need to know? How do I get started? The Real-Time Quantitative PCR Training Series is a free training program for researchers who are already performing real-time PCR experiments and for those that are new to the technique. The series is divided into five modules. As you move through each module, your understanding of real-time PCR will grow rapidly. The modules are designed to work together, each building upon the last. However, each module may be taken separately. The first module, Fundamentals, provides an overview of real-time PCR touching on many topics. Fundamentals is an ideal module for new users, but even experienced users will benefit. After finishing the series, you'll be better able to structure your real-time quantitative PCR experiments, saving labor, money, and time. You will also learn what steps to take to give you confidence that the data you produce will be trustworthy. With this knowledge, you'll be better able to defend your real-time PCR data from scientific criticism, helping you become a real-time PCR leader among your colleagues. Here's an example of one of the lessons presented during Fundamentals. With sufficient cycles, PCR will progress through three distinct phases. In the first phase of PCR, the DNA target grows exponentially. Samples with different amounts of target will visibly amplify at different points during PCR. A fixed fluorescent value called the threshold is set. Data points called CTs are taken along the threshold. Through mathematical transformation, the initial target quantity is deduced from the CT and PCR efficiency. For fun, let's try a question about real-time PCR. Which statement is true? CT values between 20 and 30 are accurate. CT values between 1 and 30 are accurate. CT values less than 40 are accurate. Or CT values between 5 and 15 are accurate. Let's take a few moments to consider the answer. Time's up. I'm afraid this is a trick question. None of the answers are correct. No CT value can be considered accurate a priori. We invite you to learn more at your leisure. This self-paced webinar contains a number of chapters beyond the lessons included here. The invitation is open. I hope you'll join us.